Okay, that was fun. Hopefully you guys come back. My big fat finger hit it. Dagging of it. Sorry. Just a little excitement for you tonight. <laughs> come on back in. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, girls. My finger apparently hit the camera because it flipped back around and cut off when I turned it. All right, we'll get it down one day. No worries. Let's wait for a few more people to come back in. Just keeping you on your toes. Or keeping me on my toes, right? All right. I'll try, try again. Okay. <laughs> back in the saddle. No kidding. We're back. Okay. Everybody's probably like, where the heck did she go? All right. So we're going to do this one tonight, and I'm going to do a different paper than this one on another card because I wanted to try another color combination. So um, I thought we would try to decide. Um, I pulled out these two colors. Hi, Carol. Thanks for joining. I pulled out these two colors because I want to use this hibiscus flower this time. And I love this pattern. It's so pretty. And the colors, while they're vibrant, it's actually kind of a soft pattern, which I really love too. So totally my colors in my wheelhouse. Hi guys, come on back in. My big fat finger turned it off the first time. So we're good to go now. <laughs> Hi, Jean. Hi, Lorraine. Welcome back. Hi, Carla. All right. So as I told you, we're going to be making this design tonight. And most, most exciting for me was learning how to do this little um, area to tie a bow or a knot that does not slip. So that for me was awesome. Worth the price of admission. <laughs> well, here, that doesn't really count. All right. So we're going to use the hibiscus instead of this uh, pattern on this one. Um, and then... The hibiscus has the little pineapples on the back, which I thought were really cute also. So we're just going to use the reverse of this. But like I said, I, on this one I used the um, Coastal Cabana, and I loved the way it coordinated with the background. So for this, I was trying to decide if I wanted to pull in some more of the, um, the green. And I went for Granny Apple Green because I wanted these colors to kind of pop off of it. And I chose the Daffodil Delight and Granny Apple Green, and I couldn't decide which I liked better. So, I like that, but you know, it kind of blends like that, and it really pops. So, you know me. I think I'm going to go with this one. I can always do another one with the other. Okay, so you need a piece of cardstock that measures five and a half by eight and a half, and you're going to score it in the middle at four and a quarter, just like we did, um, or we usually do. All right, and I'm going to be using the Timeless Tropical Stamp Set to go along with my designer series paper. Okie doke. Oh, good. You guys are coming back in. Good to see you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to be using this one. So the pieces of cardstock that you will need, and designer series paper, I should say, you're going to need one piece of your designer series paper for the main area on the card that measures three inches by four inches, okay? These are all going to be four inches wide for this front panel. And the reason for that is because we're going to build our front panel on a piece of cardstock. Now, you can use colors that you don't use a lot of if, you know, if you have a lot that you don't use that color bunch. You can always use that because we're not going to see it. Um, we're just going to use this as kind of a mount for um, the other pieces. So this is four by five and a quarter. And then my first piece of designer paper, like I said, for the main area is three inches by four inches. Okie doke. Hi, Maria. Good to see you. All right, so after this piece, you're gonna need two pieces of designer series paper that coordinate, and they are going to measure one inch by four inches, okay? So I just used the coordinating back side of this paper, which are those pineapples. So those are my coordinating pieces, one inch by four inch, and then two pieces of cardstock that coordinate with the paper, and I chose Lovely Lipstick because it's just so pretty. 
Okay, so that's the base for the front of our card. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna adhere these so that um, we can then do a really cool new, to me, way to do your um, ribbon so it doesn't slip. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these um, two pieces of lovely lipstick. So whatever card stock you chose that coordinates that are the one and four inch strips, you are going to put one at the top and one at the bottom. So we'll adhere those first, okay? So if you're stamping along and gluing along with me, you'll wanna do those one inch by four inch strips of cardstock first. Okay, and we're just gonna do it at the top edge and the bottom edge. So this will give us our little starting off point here. You know what, I can't see the white against the white, so I'm gonna move this real quick so I can have green behind it, or turquoise, so I can see when I really get it straight. There we go, now I got a better, better view. So I'm just gonna put one inch by four inch there at the top. And then I'll do the same thing at the bottom. I'll just put this little guy over here. I'm glad you guys joined me tonight, this is awesome. There we go. All right, so we have a one inch by four inch at the top and a one inch by four inch at the bottom. All right, so we're gonna set this piece aside for just a sec. We're gonna pull in our three inch by four inch piece of designer series paper. All righty. And you're gonna bring in those two pieces of coordinating designer paper that are one inch by four inch. These are really easy measurements to remember, right? And I'm going to take my main focal piece here and I'm gonna turn it over and I'm gonna put adhesive at the top and bottom of it. Just the top and bottom. Like that, okay? Let's scooch this guy out of the way. All right, so I'm just gonna line my um, little strip up here on my grid because it's gonna make it easier for me to see when I'm going to glue it down. Now, I can get it lined up, there we go. And you can do this on your grid paper. All right, so we're gonna take our piece of paper and we're gonna go down to just a quarter of an inch. And you can eyeball it, you don't have to make it very precise if you don't want to. Um, oops, that one, I cut it that one a little long, didn't I? Oh no, that's right, it was just a little off. There we go. So a quarter of an inch there, like so. And then I'm gonna, Turn this over here and do the same thing at the bottom. I'm gonna do it, leave three quarters at the bottom and do a little quarter of an inch here, like so. Okie doke. So there's that. Hi, good to see you, Nancy. I'm glad you guys found me. All right, so there's our little focal image. Now that that's done, you can go ahead and put adhesive on the back of the whole thing. Then we're gonna bring that piece back in. We first made our little base area there. And I'm gonna take this piece and I'm just going to adhere this to the front leaving about the same amount at the top and bottom. Doesn't have to be perfect. There we go, like that. Okie doke. So that's the base of my card right there. I got a little bit hanging over here on the edge. I need to trim these guys. There we go. All right. So now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do my ribbon next because I don't want to adhere it before I do this. So I'm gonna use this one. This is the Rouge Daffodil Delight. I really love this ribbon. So, so pretty, it goes great. So you're gonna need about 14 inches of ribbon and you can do it right off the spool if you'd rather, whatever works for you. I usually end up cutting too much when I cut it off the roll, but that's okay. All right, so we're gonna take and cut our ends off so that they come to a point like that, okay? 
now you're going to need that eighth inch hole punch that I wrote on the list. And I'm going to use my crocodile because it has an eighth of an inch on here. You can use whichever you have. Maybe you have an office punch. But you want the hole to be a size that you'll be able to kind of hide with your bow or your knot. So this eighth of an inch actually works really well. Now, before I do that, I should tell you this. So the sentiment is going to go on this white piece, the one by four here at the bottom. It's going to go right like that. So you can go ahead and stamp that first if you want. I did my sentiment last, but if you want to do yours and adhere it before you do this part, I totally feel you. But what I did was I just held this one inch piece here so I knew up from that where I would want my ribbon to be because the ribbon's going to go straight across. So I'm going to take my eighth inch punch and this is thin ribbon. So I want to make sure that my hole is only going to be behind where my ribbon will go over. I don't want it like up here. I need it down here close. So I'm going to take my eighth inch and I'm going to go in and punch right about there. Okay. All right. Thank you guys for sharing. I appreciate it. Hi, Linda. All right. So there's our eighth inch circle. So here's what we're going to do for our no slip bow knot, whichever you want to tie. I'm going to take the end of my um, ribbon and I'm going to go in from the back and just push this through the hole and pull it through like so. Okay. And I want to make sure I'm keeping it straight so it's flat across the back, flat across the front. And I'm just going to pull this up here kind of and hold it while I'm doing the next step. So I want to be able to get something back, the ribbon back through this little hole. So I'm going to have this kind of taut against there. See how I can see through the hole there? So I'm going to take the end of my ribbon. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Turn it around. Hold on. My ribbon's twisted. I can have it. Sorry. I'm going to take my ribbon. I'm going to wrap it around like this. Okay? So it goes straight across my card. It, it's okay if it's not completely straight right now. You have a little bit of wiggle room in a minute. But we're going to have this flat across the front, flat across the back. Like that. Okay? So I'm going to hold it here. And I'm going to bring this up. And I'm going to hold this up towards... Wait, that's not right. That's not right. Sorry. <laughs> Gonna wrap this one around. Okay, stay with me, people. Wrap it around. Bring it around like this. Bring this up. <laughs> Damn, blame it. Hang on. This is not going to get the better of me. I've done this like 10 times, and now I get here and I freeze. Oh, for Pete's sake. There. All right. So I have it through the hole. I'm going to pull it all the way up. I'm going to wrap it around like so. Okay? I was wrong the first time. So I pulled it through the hole. I'm holding this piece up here. This is flat across the back. So I'm going to wrap it around like so, and I'm going to hold that taut so I can still see that little hole there. And we're going to put this through the back towards the front, so it's going to come through right there. Thank you, Jesus, I remembered. I don't know why I freeze when I'm with you guys. It just freaks me out, I guess. All right, so there we have our ribbon. So I'm just going to kind of even it up a bit there like that. Okay, I'm going to do it again for you, so don't panic, because I know I was messing with you. All right, so that's what it's going to look like before we tie the knot. Now let me do it again, so I make sure you guys know what I'm doing. So I put the ribbon in from the back to the front. I'm going to hold this piece of ribbon up here so that the hole is opened a little bit. I'm going to wrap my ribbon around, making sure it's flat in the back and flat in the front, like that. I'm going to bring it around and it's going to go back through that hole right there. 
towards the front. Like that. Now you wanna make sure, see how I pulled it up on this side of the ribbon this time? You wanna make sure that one of them is on the top and one of them is on the bottom. So you can just feed it back through if you're not if you're not there when you do it. So there is what you end up with, okay? So that's like clear as mud, I'm so sure. <laughs> All right, so then you're just gonna take your ribbon and I'm gonna do a knot for this one. Just tie it taut and see how it's really got a nice grip on your card. It's not gonna slide up and down. You don't have to put a glue dot under there. Um, it's gonna fit perfectly, okay? So there you have it, and it's not really bulky, which is what I love. So see that? Isn't that fun? Once you got it out of my brain onto the card. <laughs> All right, so then I'm gonna trim off the little ends, like so. And there's our little trick. So this little guy's gonna go on here, and I'm gonna put it on dimensionals. I promise I didn't have a glass of wine. I'm just as freaky all the time. I get on here and get nervous. Nervous in the service. There we go. Okay. Yeah, you're really going to need to rewind that one a lot till you get to the part where I actually did it right. <laughs> all right. So there's our ribbon on the back, nice and flat, flat on the front, and it's stuck really nice there, not scooching around. So then I'm just going to put this little guy on the front, like this. There we go. All right, like that, okay? Nice and flat. So then we're going to bring in our little one inch by four inch scrap of um, Whisper White. And I'm using the Timeless Tropical set, like I said. And on this one, I'm gonna do the same sentiment as I did on our sample. The rest and relax, you deserve it. And then on the inside, may your birthday be memorable. All right, so let's stamp this one first. Rest and relax, you deserve it. This should be interesting. Please, please, please work straight. Woohoo! Thank you, Lord. All right, so now I'm just going to flag the end just a tad. Like so. Come on, I am not nervous, I am not nervous. Well, sugar. There we go, whew, at last. All right, I do go through a lot and I love them, that's why. All right, so this is going to go right under the ribbon right there against the edge, like so. So it's going to sit right here on that line where your designer paper um, meets the coordinating piece. So we'll go over here, put that one down. You know why I use it a lot, Kathy? And I learned this a long time ago. Somebody said to me, they're a penny a piece. Don't be shy. <laughs> Dimensionals are a penny a piece. All right, so there's the front. Woo! Now I'm going to use one of the little trinkets, and this time I'm going to use a little hibiscus flower. They come with the leaves, the guitars, the um, hibiscus, and they come with pineapples, but I've used all my pineapples in this kit. I have no more. I need more. All right, so we'll pull a glue dot out here. Pick this little guy up. There we go. Whoop. I'm here. And this one will go right about there. Like so. Cool, huh? 
Oh, pennies from heaven. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nancy. Thank you so much. So there's the front. So now I'm just going to do the inside. And this panel is also four by five and a quarter. So we're going to do our other sentiment. May your birthday be memorable. All right. Cross your fingers and your toes. Whew. Hallelujah. All righty. And now I'm going to do my little pineapple. Where did I put my neck pad? There it is. My little pineapple. It's so stinking cute. little guy down here for a little bit of interest. Thanks, Maria. <laughs> You'd think I'm the one that's so tired from working all day because I messed up, but hey, you got a good reason, not me. There. Okay, so this guy. Oh, I love these colors. Aren't they pretty? All right. So here's the deal. If you post a photo of your card in the comments here, I will do a drawing and I will mail out my card to you. The winner, I'll do a drawing. Does that make, make sense? Clear as mud again. Now I'm gonna use this two and a half by six inch scrap of designer paper. And of course, make a coordinating envelope because I don't like naked envelopes. Oh, wrong piece. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, try, try again. Oh, whoopee. This one would be the one. I picked up the wrong one. Try, try again. Two and a half inches by six inches will do you just perfectly. Hey, how are you, my friend? Oh my gosh, I missed you. Rose Ellen. We need to do a virtual happy hour. <laughs> I don't know. I can't stamp and have a virtual happy hour, though. That would not be pretty. I already... Whew, Lord, can you imagine? All right. So, there you have it. There's that one, and here's this one. So, remember, if you want to go back and learn how to do that ribbon trick again, just rewind it. <laughs> It'll be there. But if you post your photo of your card in the comments here, like I said, I'm going to do a drawing, and I will send the cards out to you that we pull in the drawing, okay? I'll even let Lindsay pull this time. She loves that part. All right, I think that's all I can do tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Might need to turn the light off. <laughs> All right, here's this month's host code again. Don't forget, if you need anything, you can head over there. Um, again, this is the Timeless Tropical Stamp Set with the Coordinating Designer Paper. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I appreciate it. And I will see you again tomorrow for Tips and Tricks Tuesday. All right, and we'll see you next week for another Make It With Me Monday. So stay tuned. All right, guys, love you tons, stay safe, stay well, and I'll see you next time.